Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be wiring an additional LED into our Barnabas noggins, and then we'll be programming both of our LEDs simultaneously. So in addition to all the parts that we have been using in our previous videos, we need a couple new things. So on the left, you can see I have an additional LED, so you do need another one. And on the right, I have an object that's known as a resistor. Now this resistor has a particular color scheme. Uh, from left to right, the bands are gold, brown, purple, and yellow. So that is significant, although it's a little beyond the scope of this video. So I'm just gonna kind of breeze over that. Just know that if you have a resistor with a different color scheme, that is going to change how your LED looks. So it'll either make it a little brighter or a little dimmer. Okay, so here is our Barnabas noggin as we left it before. And you'll notice that it is currently on. So it's plugged in, it has power. And I want to make sure we understand that this is probably not a good idea. So before I go plugging in additional things into the board, so expanding on our circuits, I want to make sure that power is disconnected just to be extra safe. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug power. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that the amount of power we're using is not really enough to hurt us. Uh, this is more for the safety of the board. It's very easy to break parts if you are making changes to your circuits while you have power connected. So that's what we're trying to avoid here. Okay, so on your Barnabas noggin, I would like you to focus on the lower half. So underneath where the blue rectangle is, there's a section where we have some things written. Uh, one of them says LED7, the other says R1, so that refers to our LED and our resistor respectively. This is where we're going to be placing those two things. Now the resistor is unlike the LED in that it doesn't care which way it faces. It doesn't have a long leg and short leg, so we can put it in forwards or backwards, it really doesn't care. However, the LED, just like our last LED, does care. It wants the long leg to be on the positive side and the short leg to be on the negative side. Luckily, if you look at where the LED is meant to be placed, you'll see a little plus and minus sign directing us on how we should place the LED. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will try to do this without bumping the camera too much, but I have my resistor, which I'm going to just place here into these two pegs. All right. And then I got my LED. I got to make sure I keep track of which side is plus, which side is minus, and place that in there. And there you have it. That's all you need to do to make this new circuit. Now you may be asking yourself, why is it necessary to do things like this? Why do we have this new part when the other LED works just fine without a resistor? Well, it turns out there is actually an internal resistor in the Barnabas noggin at pin 13. So in reality, the circuit that we just made is no different from the circuit we made before. It's just the extra part was hidden to us. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the noggin and open up Arduablock, and I will see you guys when I get into it. Okay, so here I am back in Arduablock. And we're gonna go ahead and start from the basics. So we do know that we need a loop two. Oh, and by the way, make sure that your com is selected. I know mine is com three. Barnabas noggin, for me that's correct. Barnabas bot would be the project. So we have those lined up and we have our loop two. Now, if I were to just do a single light blinking on and off, we know how to do that. We would go to lights and we would need two LED blocks. Beforehand we were, I guess I'll clone. Oh no, I won't clone that, all right. I should clone that. So previously, as I was saying, our LED was on pin 13. And we've got one on, one off. We also know that in addition to that, we need a couple of these wait blocks. So we're going to wait for one second in between the blinks. So we know that this will blink our first LED, the one that we've had on our board for a, a little while now. 
and it'll blink it on and off repeatedly. So that's all fine and good, uh, but I would like to test our new LED. Now, you may remember that the Barnabas noggin on it said LED 7. So what it's trying to tell us is the LED would be located on pin number 7 if we placed it there. So this should offer us the uh, control over that LED. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Nothing we haven't done before, we're just changing to pin 7 instead of pin 13. All right, you guys should see that. Uh, so it looks like we do have it, in fact, going on and off. That's great. I'm gonna go ahead and upload blink code so it's not just blinking there in the background. Could be a little distracting. I know it is for me. Okay, so let's say I wanna get both of these lights blinking in a single program. So I think we're gonna do this in steps because there's a lot of intricate stuff we can do with two blinking LEDs. But first, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna clone this whole thing. Because I know I can blink an LED, I can blink one single LED on and off using just half of this, right? So the piece on the left I can use to blink a single LED. But if that's the case, I can use the piece on the right to blink the other LED. So the only thing I need to change between these two sets of blocks is that I want one set of blocks to be referring to pin seven, and I want the other set of blocks to be referring to pin 13. So if I do this, I'll have pin number seven blinking on and off, and then afterwards I will have pin 13 blinking on and off. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. There you have it. So this is our first code where we have both, uh, we have multiple things uh, being controlled at once. So if you made it this far, congratulations. Now let's see if we can make this more intricate. I'm gonna go ahead and upload blank code. So why don't I, instead of having them blink separately, why don't I try to get them to blink at the same time? So I have pin seven and pin 13 going on and then both of them going off. So I want them to blink on and off at the same time. So to do this, I'm actually gonna get rid of a couple of things. I do not need this many weight blocks. I only need two weight blocks. Now keep in mind that the Barnabas noggin doesn't do, uh, do two things at the same time actually. It does two things very close together, and we're going to do our best to take advantage of that. So for example, this block here that says pin 13 on, and then this block here that says pin 7 on, I'm going to put them right next to each other. So those two things happen almost at the same time. Then I'm going to put a wait block. So I'm going to turn both of those lights on, and I'm going to wait for a little while and give you know, your eyes a chance to see. And then I'm going to turn them both off at the quote unquote same time. And then I'm going to put another weight block so that we have like this opportunity to see this happen. So this should get us there. So let's go ahead and upload. All right, cool. So we got them going on and off at the same time. Now you guys can probably figure out what I'm gonna try next. How about I have them alternate? So when one is on, the other is off. When the other is on, then the first one is off. So this isn't all that difficult to do. I just need to make sure that I am staying consistent between both halves of my code. So I have like the first half where I'm turning these both on. I have pin 13, pin seven here. And then in the second half, I have pin seven, pin 13 turning off. So I'm gonna flip one of the LEDs. I'm gonna make one of the LEDs off in the first part and then on in the second part. Now it's important that you're picking the same pin number, not that you're picking the same block. So for example, in this first 
uh, half, I have pin 13 as the first block. In the second part here, I have pin 7 as the first block. So if I were to change this pin 13 block, and then this pin 7 block, that wouldn't really work out. I want to make sure I'm manipulating the same LED both times. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say pin 13. Instead of starting on, you're going to start off. And then down here, pin 13 is going to turn on. So I still have a pin 13 off part, and I still have a pin 13 on part. So that's important. But notice now that the ones that are sandwiched together are now opposites. So this should get an alternating sequence. Cool. All right, so that's that. Now, the last thing I want to do is involving a block that we used last time around when we were doing Morse code, and that is the repeat block. So I think it would be interesting to have one light blink like three times for every once uh, the other light blinks. I think that might be interesting. So I need to go back to having a complete blink for a given LED. So if I look at this, these blocks that I just jammed together, I see that that makes a complete blink. That is the uh, pin 13 light blinking on and off. Um, and if I put it in this repeat block, that means it'll do it five times before moving on to anything else. Then I'm going to organize these other two blocks, the pin 7 blocks, to blink themselves. So now I have pin 13 blinking five times for every one time that pin seven blinks. And because I wanna make this go by a little faster, let's say, let's see, pin 13, that LED will have it blink every 0 0.2 seconds. So in other words, it'll blink five times a second. And then these I'll keep at one. So I'll just, I'm just trying to hurry the code up a little bit. Hmm. All right. So I did, I more or less got there, uh, but it looks like there is a small error. Uh, something I didn't intend to have happen is the blue light, the pin 13 light staying on while the pin seven light, uh, which is what the magenta light blinks. So I think that's just because I have them in the alternate order. So the last thing I tell the uh, LED on pin 13 to do is turn on and then it'll stay on as this blink down here happens. So if I were to just switch the on and off, then I could prevent that from happening. Okay, all right, that's better. That's more what I was looking for. So that's really all I have to show you today. Now, obviously, there are a lot of different uh, little patterns you can do with your two lights. I did not exhaustively show you everything you can do. So I encourage you guys to kind of go forth and dink around with things. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.